What up, it's your girl Minna. In this video, I'm gonna teach you a real simple way to get a black smoky eye. So if you wanna learn how to do that with a one-two punch, if you will, keep on watching. In the meantime, text me and also follow me on Instagram. Let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm gonna use one of my favorite eyeliners. This is from Revlon. This, this is the So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner and the color is Midnight Mystery. I love this a lot. I use this all of the time in my waterline. It gives a satin finish. You're gonna find eyeliners that are gonna give you a matte finish. I don't like them, they're boring. I love the satin finish to this. This is also very creamy. I can't stand when eyeliners require you to do a lot of tugging and pulling. It's just too much for me. It requires too much, it's irritating, okay? So I wanted to show you how to do a quick smoky eye with this. Honestly, when you see me do this, you're gonna be like, oh, I don't even need to put powder on top. You really don't, but I like to because it helps the longevity of it. But let me just show you, okay? Very creamy, nice and dark, linking everything below, of course. Now, this is obviously a product that I can use as an eyeliner for the top of my eye, in my waterline, like I said, and then I like to use it as a base for my smoky eye, baby. So go easy with it. This is very dark. We are sticking right here where the eyelid is. No need to go so far because what we're gonna do is take your finger. I like to go with the ring finger because it just makes the most sense. It's like more gentle. Okay, now let's begin to blend this. Now it's sticky, which I like, okay? And that helps when you apply your black eyeshadow on top for it to actually adhere to your eye. Now let's use this to bring the color up into the crease a little bit more. Going easy with this because it's black. So if you get this on your face, as you can see, I've done my face already, then it's a wrap, baby, you're done for, okay? Bringing this into the crease little by little, this is so tacky. And now I'm taking a little bit, even when I bent my eye, <laughs> it's sticking. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more and go into the crease because it's not moving as much as I need it to. This doesn't need to be so perfect just enough to get it there. And then use your finger to blot. So you're pressing, moving, press, move, press, move, so that you're putting it where you want it to go, okay? Now I'm gonna move quickly because like, you know, just go quickly. Now you're gonna see some spots, that's okay because you're gonna put an eyeshadow on top of this. Say you have a small eyelid and you did this real quick and easy, maybe you won't feel like you need to put something on top, but I like to go on top because this is sticky. When I open my eyes and close it, it sticks a little bit. So I don't really want all that, you know, during the day. But here we go, same on this side, let's do it. Now, of course, we wanna make sure that there are no harsh lines. Get inside here where the tear duct is. Get it into your crease area, but don't worry too much about that because in the crease, we're gonna put transition colors. We've gone over the transition colors and why we need them in our eyeshadow tutorial, step-by-step -step video, make sure you watch that. All right, now let's just leave this because to me, this is good right here. Now to set all of it, because like I said, it's real sticky. Any black eyeshadow will do, honestly. I'm just taking this one from Maven Beauty. It's a quad palette, the black one right here. I obviously use this a lot. I'm gonna be looking down because my face is done. I don't wanna mess this up, okay? Now let's pat the black onto the eye and let it adhere to the sticky eyeliner. Do you see that? And when it adheres, this is gonna go from looking dewy to being matte. Now, if you don't already know, if you wanted to take any eyeshadow color and make it darker than it actually is, a black base is still called for. If you wanted to make sure that your eyeshadow color pops, it's bright, then you wanna use a white eyeshadow base, okay? So look at that, a nice matte black eyeshadow. Now make sure you mattify all of it. I'm gonna make sure I get right close to my waterline to make sure all of it is covered. All of the eyeliner that we use, we want all of it to be covered, okay? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now the other side. Okay, now I am the kind of person that likes to bring my smoky eye into the front of my brow, okay? That's just a technique that I love love, makeup artists love to do it, baby. Okay, that's just what we do. Now, we have the black down. It looks a little crazy, but let's bring it all in together. We need to get our transition colors. So let me grab a drugstore palette, you know? It'll still help us get what we need, hi. I'm gonna use the Milani Ungilded Most Loves Matte Palette. And we're looking down to blend all of this out, okay? I'm gonna use Cinnamon Spice first. The kind of brush that I'm using is this shape because we don't want it to spread too wide, but 
we want it to be enough to cover a wide area quickly, right? We're not gonna use a small brush and be here all day. So cinnamon spice right here. And now very lightly, I'm applying this between the black and my brow bone. I'm also tapping off the excess and wiping my pr brush onto my tissue in front of me to take off any product and further blend if needed. So do this very softly to blend this out and see how I'm going into the front of the brow and then toward the outer part and then feathering it up that way, okay? We're gonna build up the intensity here, but first I wanna lay down this color right here. And honestly and truly, this looks so good that I don't even think I need to do anymore, but I want to intensify the black. I'm still seeing it shiny. It doesn't bother me. The, the black is not so matte. So the fact that I have an eyeliner underneath all of this is making the eyeshadow look satin and I actually like that but let's go over it a little bit more just because okay I'm gonna blur out this edge right here with some more of this cinnamon spice which is a reddish brown very lightly blending into that now let's do the same thing on the other side wiping off the excess grab more powder because with wiping off the brush you're getting the black off to make sure that you're just putting that cinnamon spice in the crease okay so now I'm looking to make sure that it's all even you know what I'm saying. And you do want to take some more of the black to go over the eyelid to make sure that it hasn't been wiped off. So just pat. How's it look? Come in, let me know, girl. What you thinking about it? Mm, let me know. Now I'm gonna ombre the bottom of the eyelid. I'm gonna take the cinnamon spice color. Again, it's a reddish brown underneath the eye first because we're gonna build up. I don't wanna go from black and then go backward, not underneath the eye. So cinnamon spice first right here, always tapping off the excess. And then I'm gonna start off by putting this eyeliner, the same one inside my waterline first before I smudge it under my eye. I just sharpened it and here I'm just isolating my inner eye to make the application a lot easier. This is a pair of tweezers that I'm using to do that. Just a little trick that I love to do to make applying my eyeliner easier. Now, that is a simple way to apply your eyeliner, but I want it to be smudged. So now that I've already gotten it inside my eye, let's go on the skin some more. So now I'm underneath my eyelashes with some of this eyeliner. And we're gonna smudge all of that out, but right now it's just in place. So first in the waterline, black is so dark, but you could totally do this with a gray. You could totally do this with a dark brown if you want to practice it out in the beginning but black you gotta go really easy with and be careful because it's really dark and it can look real crazy real soon that i mean i i have been there <laughs> so now with my flat liner brush i'm gonna smudge all of this out there's some gaps in the liner underneath my eye and you can only tell when you're looking close. I wanna fix it, meaning I can see my skin. I need to fix that. And I could put eyeshadow underneath this, but I like the satin look of the eyeliner under my eye. So I'm not gonna set this part with the black eyeshadow. But you could do that, of course, if you wanted it to look more matte and not satin. And by satin, I mean shiny. It looks, it looks like shiny, okay? But I like that. Now, you know I always highlight, that's a must for me, using the Milani All-Inclusive Eye Cheek Face Palette. I'm gonna highlight in my eye. I'm gonna use this gold color. It just goes with the brown and blacks that I have on right now. So right up in here, that's a must. Wiping off the excess on my paper towel in front of me. And now I'm just blending into the black eyeshadow to make sure that there are no harsh lines, okay? Now, because I already have on a black smoky eye, there's no need for an eyeliner. It's not gonna show unless I were to be doing a wing, but come on now, what's the size of you doing a wing? Girl, please. Mm -mm. I can't do it, there is no need, okay? So top lashes, I'm gonna do mascara from Maybelline. This is a lash sensational one. You ain't gonna see this either, but you are gonna see my lashes and I always wear mascara before lashes. That is muy importante. Now with this mascara, honestly, the older it is, the thicker it gets, the thicker it makes the eyelashes look. So I've grown to like this. It's almost done. Okay, let me get my lashes.
All right, let me know what you think about this look. I think it was an easy way to do a black smoky eye. You might think it was a lot because of the crease colors, but honest to God, to me, okay? I used to be a makeup artist, okay? You need to transition your eye, especially when you are working with a smoky eye. Please, for the love of God, transition with some transition colors. I just used one, like I said, cinnamon in that palette. Sometimes I add some orange to give it a sunset, some burgundy. It depends on how I'm feeling I kept it simple to me in this look, but I want you to comment and let me know if you felt like it was easy to follow along with. Do you like doing smoky eyes? When's the last time you did one? What colors do you normally use? Because honestly, you can do smoky eye with a dark red, a dark purple, a dark blue, a dark green, a black, and even a brown, okay? I'm glad you watched the video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, subscribe here, again, text me, and stick around and watch two more videos that I have linked here for you because why not, okay? So glad you're here. Thanks for watching. Bye.